I have never been to Bethlehem, but I've been to Bethlehem. What I mean is, I have never been to Israel, the Holy Land, but I had an experience very much like it. Back in the year 1988, I went on a pilgrimage. I was part of a delegation of priests and laypeople from the Diocese of Chicago. We went to El Salvador and Nicaragua in Central America. Now, back in 1988, there was a war going on in both of those countries. The war in El Salvador was a war between the oppressive right-wing military government and the left-wing rebels up in the mountains. Most of the people of the country were caught in the middle of these warring armies. We visited a refugee camp. The people there were happy to see us. You see, our presence guaranteed their safety, at least for a while. The government soldiers would not come in and hurt them while we North Americans were with them. They shared their food with us, even though they were very poor. And I have often noticed the great generosity of those who don't have very much for themselves. In this camp, I took a picture of a baby in a hammock. It was a poor peasant child born into a place under the thumb of an empire with soldiers and dangers everywhere. I think that was the baby Jesus in the year 1988. The picture is up here in a frame. I keep it on my office wall, but it's here next to our Christmas scene, and you're welcome to come take a look at it later on. To me, that was the baby Jesus in 1988. I have never been to Israel, but I feel like I have been to the Holy Land. Walking around El Salvador, a war-torn country, we met with poor people who had little except their faith and their kindness. I felt like I was walking around inside the Gospels of Matthew and Mark and Luke and John. I really did feel like at any moment, I might look up and see a young man with 12 raggedy disciples coming down one of the dusty roads toward me. I felt like Jesus really was there, hidden in the poor ones of El Salvador. Even the name of the country really is significant. El Salvador is Spanish for the Savior. Now we visited a grave while we were there, a very famous grave. It was a tomb in the cathedral in the capital city. It was the tomb of Oscar Romero, the Roman Catholic Bishop of El Salvador. In the year 1980, eight years before my visit, he had been murdered. He was celebrating the Eucharist in a small chapel, and a right-wing death squad with ties to the government shot him dead at the altar while he was celebrating. You see, he spoke up for the poor, and the government viewed that as subversive. Now, in one of his sermons, Bishop Romero said something. I always remember when I look at this picture of the baby in the hammock in the refugee camp. Romero said this, We must not seek the child Jesus only in the pretty figures of our Christmas cribs. We must seek him among the undernourished children who have gone to bed tonight without eating, among the poor newsboys who sleep in doorways covered by newspapers. When I came back from El Salvador, it had been such a powerful experience for me, I decided to write a song. I felt like I had been in the Holy Land. I felt like I had actually seen Jesus there, and so this song is an important song, at least in my life. Jesus, we see you in the eyes of your poor. You still walk the dusty hills and live close to the land. Hidden from the ones who own the guns and wars and lies. 
Your suffering continues and the nail still wounds your hand. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on us all. There you are, a young boy with two bullets in his legs. Or there you are, a mother who has lost all of her sons. The homeless and the hungry and the hopeless and the sick. Jesus, we can always see you in these helpless ones. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on us all. The troubles of your people fill your heart with grief and love. We can see your suffering that pierces like a knife. Give us hope that pain and death are not the only truth. Jesus, friend and Savior, show your resurrection life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on us all. And I always do love to see a crash, the Christmas scene, with the figures of Mary and Joseph and the animals and the shepherds and the wise men. And at the center, of course, is the sleeping child, the Christ child. This child will grow up one day and will say this, whatever you do, for the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you do for me. Jesus is hidden in the little ones, the least ones, and the lost ones. If we love him, we must find him there. If we love him, we must see him there. If we love him, we must serve him there. It is as simple as that.